Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today we're going to talk about this speaker here. Now it may look like an Alltech Lightning, but it's not. It's a Gemini. It's pretty much, it is the same speaker. It is so much the same speaker that in today's video, I'm going to tell you that it actually pairs off to the two speakers. So if you actually had a Lightning and you bought the new Gemini, you can link the two together because that's like the most important thing to know about. So we're going to get it right off the bat, hit it right up front. This speaker, 2,200 watts, peak power, runs off of a D-class power amp. So that would be like saying a diesel engine instead of a gas power engine. You get to get a lot of power out of it. The constant run is 550 RMS. It is divided between the horn and the woofer, I'm guessing, but it probably, just like I said before, it's probably 400 and 150, similar to, let's say, Alto's previous model, the TS215 was, which was 400 and 150. A ton of power on a D-class power amp. You can run this all day long. You can use it everywhere and anywhere to do pretty much anything. It's got a crazy light show that you can turn on and off. It does weigh close to 50 pounds, but you're paying because it's got a big honking magnet connected to that woofer in the front, a massive tweeter on top, and it's got a huge amp and power supply built into the system. So that's what's really going on here when you start getting into that kind of weight. It does have a plot handle, by the way, so you're not familiar with it you've got a handle on top and rubber wheels on the bottom so if you need to bring this for any sporting events you need to cart around with your back and forth not bad when it comes to all of that outside of that gives you a whole ton of stuff on top things you don't have to worry about if you don't want to have to have a mixer and you want to be able to plug in your microphone or a second microphone you need to plug in your line inputs doesn't matter it's going to do all of that for you as well. Uh, if you plan on using it for karaoke, they do have some karaoke settings on, but there's no echo or reverb on it. So you are going to need a mixer for that. Outside, on the top portion, lots of features when it comes to the digital display. So you do have an FM tuner, but I put that on the bottom of the list like I do on most things. It's nice that it's there. It's an outdoor feature. Also has, of course, Bluetooth, and it features Bluetooth 4.2, which means that it can connect to a second speaker. So you can have either one of these guys, which is to be exact, the GSP L2200. And this, the one we carry is in the package. So it's a PK, comes with a stand and a handheld microphone. Uh, or you can buy it just as a plain Jane speaker. The back will still be the same. That's an important, important part of the whole thing. Uh, has high and low controls for your bass and treble. And it has your Bluetooth line controls on it as well. Again, on the mic side inputs, which are here, we're going to have a quarter inch and an XLR as an option on both mic one and mic two, which is really nice because not a lot of things have two mic input options on it. On the line input, which is line number three, you're going to get XLR, so you got a good professional connection there. So if you're going to use it with a controller or a mixing board, you can plug into the speaker properly, no problem. You also get RCAs and a 3.5. So regardless of what you have and you need to hook up to it, it'll work on this unit. Again, your main volume control is basically EQ'd across the board. So as I adjust all these, it's going to adjust the main output going out to the speaker. So it also has a neat novel option down at the bottom. It's got an AC plug on it. So if you have a, a wireless microphone system and you have to plug in the actual receiver because you're going to throw the receiver box on top, you can plug it in right down at the bottom and not have to run another cord to the speaker. Uh, it also gives you the option if you have two of these and you're just going to set them off uh, to fill a huge big outdoor party, you can do that. You can just plug one in, plug the second one into the first one and the job is done. Now to link up two speakers for microphone use, remember we're not going to use the Bluetooth link option on it. We are going to use an XLR cable. And how do you do that? Well, the first speaker has a mix output. XLR mix output. You run that cable all the way around back into the line input on the second one turn up that line input and you're all set. Your two speakers are fine. Just EQ everything on your first speaker. The second speaker will just basically pump out the volume of exactly the same as the first speaker. There are three buttons clustered together at the bottom. One of them says mode, then it says color, and then there's a ground button. So the mode button, this all has to do in reference to the light on the front. So if I press this and then just press this button, I can change the layout of the light show on the front. So it has lights that actually light up the speaker driver itself, and then it has a nice ring light package on the outside. So as we keep pressing that button, it'll change. There's even settings to go with the music, so which is kind of neat, so a party in its own little package. How would I use a speaker like this? Now, this is an ultimate party speaker. I mean, you couldn't ask for anything more in a party speaker 
when it comes to performance, power, volume, I mean, you name it, it's going to generate. Uh, it's at the top end of party speakers. It's probably in the entry level to DJ speakers. Uh, there's lots of other speakers, but they're all going to cost a little bit more than this one if you're buying it just for DJing. Uh, if you're going to have a wedding in the backyard or something like that and you want to be able to do it all yourself and you decided to buy two of these guys to entertain, you know, 100, 150 people in the backyard, you can probably pull that off no problem with two of these guys. If you need it for any kind of special functions, of course, you can turn the light package off. You don't have to have the lights on. It can just be a nice professional looking speaker. And the added feature that you have, mic inputs, Bluetooth, and all of that, it's kind of icing on the cake for that kind of thing. Uh, again, would I use it as a DJ? Probably can invest my money in some other products, but if you need a jack of all trade speaker, you need something that's just gonna cover all the bases and be really rugged and durable. I've had a lot of people buy the Alltech Lightning version of this so I could speak with confidence that they really enjoy it. And I think if you're looking for the top end of party speakers, you're going to like it too. So how about we take a listen to it and see what it sounds like because I know it's going to sound great. We just got to make sure that comes across the camera. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. Rewind selector. So that's just a bit of a sound test there just to give you an idea of what's going on it is really a fun speaker to own uh, it does everything it's a party speaker it has all the lights that you can have on or off they can go with the music or just flash it's up to you big tweeter big woofer big power i mean that's what it's all about and very reliable we've sold the previous version tons and tons of them everybody really enjoys having them they get used anywhere as long as you have electricity you can have a party the Bluetooth version on it is really good. It's really stable. You can link it to the same model or you can link it to its previous version, which was under the Alltech Lansing brand. Uh, outside of that, not a whole heck of a lot more to say, except it comes in a really nice box. So if you're buying it as a gift, that's a pretty nice box to get something in. Uh, unboxing, it gets you a stand. So you can have it on a stand. You don't have to buy that extra. And also comes with a nice free microphone included to get you going. So everything's there in the package. You can use in your backyard, rec room, it doesn't matter. If you have a hall that you want to play it in, that's great. If you want to have more than one, awesome. 
If you're a DJ who does it for fun and for free, that's very important. Fun and for free. I would get two of these. I'd have no problems if you came in and said, Robin, can I use this? I like to carry, I like to do karaoke. I like to do DJing. I don't charge anybody for it. It's for my family. It's for my friends. It's for my, you know, backyard or farm or whatever it is. That's a pretty awesome way to go. Remember, there's always links down below. So no, I don't mention the price because I'm in Canada. You might be in the US or Australia or somewhere like that. But we have links down below that'll get you the right price. It's an affiliate link to Amazon. And uh, if you are in Canada, by all means, you can use the affiliate link to our website. And uh, that brings you back to our place and allows you to see what's going on price wise for that in Canada. But again, the Amazon links down below makes it easy. Ships to your house, no problem. And uh, then you get to enjoy it. So for now, we're gonna wrap this video up. I'm gonna say there is a link now already up on top and that's for our other video, which features two of the Altex, same speaker, same everything, except showing how two of them work together. We're also gonna make another video with the Gemini showing how to hook it up with a mixer and a controller and doing all that kind of stuff. But for now, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. If you subscribe, thank you very much. If you haven't, well, hit that subscribe. The pin is really good if you actually wanna know when the next video is. And uh, that's pretty much about it. Thanks for watching. Oh, yes, hit the like button. They always say hit the like button, so we're going to say that too. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.